What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about investing, but it's not what you guys think. So what's going on guys? Welcome back to The Country Investor. My name is Robert, if this is your first time tuning in. So today we are sitting here in South Texas, beautiful, beautiful Texas. It's a breezy, I don't know, 75, 80 degrees. Um, the wind is blowing, it's a perfect day. So I thought I'd shoot this video outside because um, I'm an outdoor person, I love outdoors. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is investing, but it's not going to be the typical investing you might think of. So in this video, we're going to talk about investing in proper shoes and proper proper footwear um, because it provides a lot more free mental space. Because if you're always thinking about, man, my feet hurt, man, I'm uncomfortable with my shoes, um, this is where I kind of found myself. So that's where I thought it was kind of important to bring this onto the channel to... Uh, kind of talk about other things that you can invest in to help yourself grow um, in your business, personal, spiritual, things like that. So what I have here are Hoka's, Hookas. I'm not even sure if I'm saying this correctly, H-O-K-A. Um, I will put the links down below in the description for anyone who wants to check out these shoes. Um, real quickly, in my opinion, I thought these shoes were very expensive. Um, but then when I took a step back and thought, okay, well, how much is my my mental free space of not having to worry about my feet hurting or being comfortable. How much is that worth to me? So that's the reason I went ahead and decided to buy them. Um, these run anywhere between $120 to about $200, sometimes about $220, $230, depending on what type of shoe you get. Um, they have different styles. Um, these are the Clifton 8s. Um, this is where I found a happy medium. They have the Bondi's. They're a little more cushiony than this. And then they have more of the runner sprinter style. And so these are kind of fit right in the middle because I do run in these. So that's the reason I went with the Clifton's because they were kind of in between. Not too weird looking, but not too, too thin where they're not as comfortable as I can get them. So yeah, so these are usually about $120 to $200. I believe these were $150, I think is what I paid with tax. $150 or $160 with tax. Um, so it's a little pricey for me, but... You know, I think it's worth it. Um, I'm investing in myself and uh, in my feet for the longevity of my feet. I'm still in my 20s and I still want to be, you know, healthy and have good feet and the ability to walk properly when I'm 70, 80 years old. So that's the reason I'm doing this now. Um, but yeah, so these are very comfortable shoes. They are the most comfortable shoes I have purchased. That's the reason I'm making a video about them. So I've owned Nikes, Under Armors, Adidas, Pumas. Brooks, I've owned them all um, because I go through shoes a lot because I run a lot. Um, I work out a lot and I, and I run a lot. So I go through shoes pretty pretty consistently. So far, we have had these. They're a little dirty, as you can tell. Um, I've had these about five days or so. Excuse me. Just ate breakfast. Um, carne asada. Um, but anyway, so yeah. So they're pretty cushiony. They're comfortable, um, especially on concrete. If you have a job where you're always on concrete, these are going to be so good for you guys. Um, I've actually heard a lot of nurses that talk about these as well, that they're very comfortable. Because if you're a nurse, you're usually walking on tile or on concrete. These are going to do, these are going to do the job for you. Um, Brooks are a second, a second place to these, in my opinion. I have three or four pairs of Brooks, and these are top those. Um, what else? So yeah, they're very comfortable. Like I said, they're airy. They don't make my feet sweat like other shoes, especially like Nikes and Under Armors. For whatever reason, I'm not sure if it's like the materials or what. And like I said, I have 10, 20 pairs of shoes that I don't wear every day, but I wear pretty consistently, swap them out, um, consisting of, you know, Nikes, Under Armors, Pumas, whatever, Adidas. And these so far have not made my feet sweat. Could be because of the weather a little bit. Um, but I know we had some hot days just a couple days ago in the 90s, and I was fine. So, um, Especially when I'm going on walks, um, my feet will sweat, but so far they have not. So that's good news for those of you guys who are interested in looking at these shoes, um, that your feet are not going to be sweating, which is, you know, that's kind of what helps start odors in your feet. No one wants that. So, so yeah. So for those of you guys who run on asphalt, gravel, um, harder surfaces like I do. So I particularly run, I, I have a property, I have a ranch, and we have a one mile trail on the ranch. Well, that's where I do my running at. 
but on the pro on that one mile trail we have caliche which if you're not familiar with caliche it's like little rocks and pebbles but they're kind of jagged and rough so with my pairs of nikes you know after about a month or two of wearing them those rocks would start cutting the sole the bottom of my shoes um so after like two months they would just be cutting it cutting it and then they would just rip the shoes and then i wouldn't figure it out till i'm running and then oh my foot it got poked punctured whatever um, so that's how i kind of found out that they were going through shoes pretty quickly um, but so far i've been i've ran i think every day since i've had these and uh no no uh significant damage you can kind of see you know a little puncture here and there but nothing like the way it was on the other shoes so all they although they are soft and very comfortable um they aren't um getting punctured as bad as some of my other shoes that i do have um so now to talk about why it's important to invest in good shoes so for one if you are at your job working and your feet are hurting well now it's taking away mental space from you performing your job correctly or at your best ability because now you're taking up a small percentage of your brain power to worry about your foot pain um, and if you can eliminate that that can help you do much better and perform better at a higher level in your job if you just free up that mental space um, two besides the mental space you want to take care of your feet your feet are important without your feet you can't do a whole lot you know so most of the people who watch my channel according to my analytics is between you know 25 and 45 so you're still fairly young um, at least i think it's fairly young <laughs> but you don't want to have foot problems where it's severe in your later 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 later, later lives uh can you say that correctly later on in life in your quote unquote gold, golden years um, you want to have nice healthy feet and in my opinion these are going to help with that they've personally have helped me so far um, eliminate a lot of foot pain um, especially with running so i believe investing in a good pair of shoes is investing in yourself and investing in your longevity as a person as a human being as a business owner it's going to encompass all the systems that revolve around your life um, so like i said it takes it further than just shoes and good feet there's other aspects you have to invest in um, for yourself to help your business yourself grow um, but this is just one step and i just wanted to share it with you guys so it's helping me so i thought i'd share it with you guys um i hope you gain some value out of this i hope you um let me know what you guys think about these if you have these drop them down in the comments if you have anything that you think is better than these definitely let me know in the comments i definitely am interested in checking them out um the more the merrier more brains you know commenting on this and letting people know what's good out there hey do it but uh, without further ado guys I'm going to sign off now. Like always, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. And we'll see you out there. Bye-bye.